everyone. In today's session, we will be discussing about the sales variances. It is a pretty easy variance, so let's jump right in. Now, what exactly do you mean by sales? Sales is nothing but selling price multiplied by sales volume or the quantity. So you have a budgeted selling price and a budgeted quantity for the forthcoming year. If you sell, if you sell your goods at a price which is higher or lower than the budgeted selling price, we have a variance there. Or if you sell a quantity which is higher or lower than the budgeted quantity, then again, there you have a variance, which means that sales variance can be divided into two. One is the sales price variance and the other one is the sales volume variance. So what is the sales price variance formula? We are actually trying to find out whether there is any difference between the actual price and the budgeted price. So the formula is actual selling price minus budgeted selling price multiplied by actual units sold. And in case of sales volume variance, we have got two methods of accounting. One is the marginal costing and the other one is the absorption costing. So the formulas are slightly different between these two. In marginal costing, it is given by the formula actual units minus the budgeted units multiplied by standard contribution per unit. Here again, we are trying to find out whether the quantity sold is more or less than the budgets, but we always multiply it with the standard contribution. And in case of absorption costing, it is actual units minus budgeted units. The first part remains the same, but you have to multiply it with the standard profit per unit. This is the difference between marginal costing and the absorption costing formula. Now, for those of you who are wondering, why is the difference in units multiplied by the standard contribution per unit under marginal costing and standard profit per unit under absorption costing? I have given a detailed explanation with an example in the upcoming video that is introduction to budgeting. So I request all students to take a look at that video to get a clearer picture of why the formulas have come this way. Now let's do a problem on sales variances. So this is the problem. We have the budgets and the actuals, the sales in units given, selling price given, total cost given, variable cost given. Now calculate sales variances using absorption costing and marginal costing. So let's make note of the formulas that we've already studied. The sales price variance, sales volume variance according to marginal costing, and sales volume variance according to absorption costing. All that you have to do is substitute the figures from the question in the formulas and you're done with the answer. So coming to sales price variance, the formula is actual selling price minus budgeted selling price into the actual unit sold. So what is actual selling price? It is 42. The budgeted selling price is 45 and actual unit sold is 380 units. So we substitute in the formula, it is 42 minus 45 multiplied by 380. And since the actual selling price is less, we have an adverse variance of 1140. Now, if you apply this formula and you end up with a negative figure, then it is an adverse variance. You can also think like that, okay? Now sales volume variance according to marginal costing is given by the formula actual units minus budgeted units multiplied by standard contribution per unit. So we have the actual units here, 380, budgeted units is 320, and standard contribution per unit is what we have to calculate. So what is contribution? It is selling price minus variable cost. So we have standard contribution and what is selling price? Always remember to pick the figures from the budget column because that's the standard. So standard selling price is 45 and standard variable cost is 17. So the standard contribution is 45 minus 17, giving an amount of $28. Substituting the three figures in the formula, we have 380 minus 320 multiplied by 28. So if you see here, the actual units is much more than the budgeted units. So we have a favorable variance of 1,680. We can also look whether the end result is a positive figure when we apply this formula. If it's a positive result, again, it's a favorable variance. Now coming to the last formula, sales volume variance according to absorption costing, 
It is actual units minus budgeted units multiplied by standard profit per unit. Here we do not know the standard profit. So what is the standard profit? Always standard profit, we have to look into the budget column. What is profit? It is selling price minus the total cost. So we have the selling price at 45 and total cost at 23. So standard profit is 45 minus 23 or $22. And what about the actual units? Actual units is 380 and budgeted units is 320. So substituting those in the formula, we have actual units 380 minus budgeted units 320 multiplied by standard profit of 22. We get a favorable variance of $1,320. It's a favorable variance because the result is positive or because the actual units has exceeded the budgeted units. We have crossed the target. With this, we come to an end of the basic variances. In the upcoming video, I will be explaining how these variances are connected with the budgets. So keep watching to get the bigger picture. Thank you.